Hey guys, this is Naveen here. Welcome back to Naveen Automation Labs. So guys, in this particular video, I'm going to talk about one, a very quick interview question. And uh, in your project also, most of the time that we have a requirement, how will you convert your hash map into an array list, right? So it's very simple. So you can see that I have created one hash map over here. And this particular hash map is having one string key and integer values. So let's see, this is my company map that I've created, Google, Walmart, Amazon, Facebook, and Cisco and their respective employees are there. Let's see in Google, we have 10,000 employees, 20,000 Walmart, 30,000, 5,000, 15,000, like that. So what I want that, I want to create uh, one array list for only for company name, another array list for their respective employees. It means I want to convert, uh, I want to store all the keys from this particular hash map into an array list and all the values from this particular hash map into a different array list. So how do we do this? So let me quickly write that, okay, yeah, total uh, company, whatever the size of this particular map. So uh, company map uh, size, we can say that plus uh, company map dot size method. So let's run it and let's see. So here you get that, okay, yeah, company map size is a five. And then I want to print all the values from this particular hash map. So in that case, what will you do? In that case, I simple, let's see, on this particular com company map, I'm going to apply one, I'm going to use entry set and then I'm going to apply one iterator. Please watch that video, how to iterate hash map. I've already covered in my previous videos and this iterator will give you what iterator. So I'm going to st uh, store in this particular iterator over here that IT is equal to this. So the, and then what I'm going to do that uh, iterator we need to import from java.util package. And what kind of iterator we have? We have, uh, let's see, uh, I simple write Okay, let's see simple iterator over here like that. Okay, then I'm going to create one a while loop and in simple write it dot uh, has next method and then uh, I'll be using what? I'll be using that map dot entry and uh, in this particular map dot entry, let's see, I'm just going to create what are the different pairs are available. So I simply say that uh, my pairs is equal to, I simply write it dot uh, next over here and convert that into map.entry. So map.entry and then put it like that. And when you get your pairs, you can simple write system dot out of println. So this is one of the way guys you can do that. I simply say that there are other ways also you can use lambda functions and everything that also you can do that. So pairs dot, I simply write get key and I simply write, let's see, a plus append with equal to and then plus a pairs dot get of value so let's see am i getting the key and value pair format from this particular hash map so right now i'm not converting so you can see that okay yeah google walmart cisco amazon and facebook on the basis of their hash code value and the indexing on the, on the basis of that the values will be returned back okay now the actual thing is start that okay i want to convert a hash map a keys into an array list it means all the keys should be go into an array list so how to do that? Very simple. I'm going to create a simple list over here. And what kind of keys you have? We have the string type of keys. So I simply say that, let's see, this is my uh, company names list is equal to a new array list. And then string type generics import this particular over here. And I simply say that um, I'll start a for loop and uh, when we start the for loop, so what should I do? I simply write that what kind of, let's see, I simply write a T variable and then I have to get a list over here, first of all. So how will you get it? So the key list guys that we have to use. So this is the company list, right guys? So what is the company list that we have created? And then start your for each loop and system dot out dot print ln and I'm going to do what? I'm just going to simple, System dot out print ln. Let's see, print the value of t. So here, there is a catch. The catch is when you create this particular array list, what you do from this particular company map inside the array list constructor, you simple pass your key set over here, and that's it. Okay, and then you start a for loop and try to print the values. So inside the array list constructor, the simple pass, you get your key set, and key set method is used to get all the keys from the array map from the hash map. Google, Walmart, Amazon, Facebook, Cisco, 
everything will be stored in this particular array list and you just iterate and then get the values so let's see what is happening so you can see that okay yes absolutely fine in this particular list i got google walmart cisco amazon facebook perfect so this is and if you really want to print without a for loop so i can simply write let's see a uh, company name list over here and then run it again so you are getting the complete list of this particular okay only for the keys for the company names perfect now let's see convert hash map values to an array list so this is also very simple so in that case again i'm going to create one more list over here so let's see i'm going to create one more list and this time i'm creating let's see uh, employee okay list something like this or let's see employee uh, values list whatever the name that you want to give and here instead of this company name i simply write dot values over here it means give me all the values stored in this particular array list and what kind of values we have we have integer type of values so accordingly guys generics we have to write a string over here only sorry integer over here right guys because values are available in the form of integer so we have to give the generics as integer only and that's it i simple say that okay again i'm going to start a simple for loop and then i'm trying to fetch the value from here so i'll fetch the value let's see integer and uh, let's see e colon from this particular list from this particular employee value list and system dot out of print and print the value of e over here okay so let's run it i'll put a separator that system dot out of print and like this so you will get the separate output over here perfect see you can see that i'm getting another error list <coughs> which is having all the employee count over here simple perfect and i can simply write that okay yeah system dot out of print and dot size and here i can simply print that uh, system dot out of print and I simply write total employee values count, which is equal to whatever the list that you have got it dot size. And I simply write over here that uh, total company count, which is equal to, and then let's run it. What you are getting? See, we have this is a complete print from the hash map, and total number of company count is equal to five. So I have got this particular error list having all the company names and total employee value sound is equal to five. So this is what we are getting over here like that. Okay, so all the employee count I'm getting this particular error list and now you use this particular error list. Okay, according to your requirement like that. So pretty simple. We just need to create the error list object and pass inside the constructor of the error list. You just need to pass dot key set for the number of keys and dot values for the uh, for the values over there. Perfect. And let's see, this is just for giving you the idea that, okay, that's why I'm printing over here. You can print with the help of Lambda. A Lambda also by using JDK 8. And uh, what you can do is, uh, it's pretty simple, that whatever the company does, and simple use for each method, put a bracket, put key, comma, V, variables over here. And then what do you want? System dot out of print ln. I want that, okay, K dot, uh, simple print the value of K. And, uh, and then let's see this is my key is equal to uh, plus k and i simply write that a value is equal to plus v and i'll put a bracket like that okay so let's uh, run it and let's see what happens so this is another way of printing it guys with within single statement also you can do that same thing i'm getting key equal to google value equal to this or if you really want to print with the help of a trader also, you can do that. Okay, so that's all for this particular video. This is how we have to convert hash map, their keys and values into respective array list. And this is a very important, simple interview question also. Thank you so much, guys. Thanks for watching this video.